All right, y'all, so it is about 2.30, and this is what I'm currently working on. I have thought about this and thought about this. Remember I was telling you guys that I was wanting to sell it, but the truth is um, I really don't want to sell it. I was just willing to sell it because of the circumstance, but I've grown so attached to this thing. I mean, like, for real, like, I really like it. <laughs> A lot um, and also like the bookshelves so I'm gonna keep them both it's been a while since I've cleaned it out you guys can kind of see how dirty it is it's been months and months and months so since I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna go ahead and clean it out I've already taken everything out of it and put it on here on the table I've got the dishwasher running there's nothing in it though it kind of it was kind of funky um, so I wanted to run it one good time so that I can put all of the glassware in there because these are kind of dingy as well, dusty or whatever. So I want to clean those, but I'm going to try to, um, I found some that I forgot I had this actually, but window clean vinegar formula. Don't really care for the vinegar smell. It's really loud, but I'm going to go ahead and use that to clean that up um the drawer i'm not really going to touch the drawer it's been organized like a thousand times because i just stuff things in there but under here there's really nothing going on under here either honestly um just some lunch bags and some plates that i'm keeping um olivia's cupcake thing from when she was way younger and that's about it other than just some Kroger bags that I or you know Walmart bags that I use as trash bags and then just some nails and like little trinkets in there as far as like nails and push pins and stuff like that.
Hey y'all, it is Thursday. Welcome back to another vlog. I think we left off where I was cleaning off the china cabinet. It's been a few days since I picked you guys up. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, It's been a pretty productive day for me today so far. It's about two o'clock and I've done so many things around the house, like little tiny things that I always say, oh, I'm gonna do that when I get the chance. I'm gonna do this when I get the chance and then I end up not doing it. So just random stuff like I uh, cleaned it finally got around to cleaning the hall bathroom I've been waiting on them to come fix the toilet the toilet's been broken well it's well I thought it was broken but they said it was just the water uh, valve that wasn't on or something so they just turned it on and everything was fine because um, prior to them coming the toilet wouldn't flood well it flushed but the water wouldn't fill back up so anytime anyone used that particular bathroom they would have to use the bucket fill it up with water and then fill up the back of the toilet so they finally got a chance to come around and so they got that fixed so i went ahead and cleaned up the bathroom really really good switched out the shower curtain put some rugs in there did all the things and i was listening to um what's it called off the hook on netflix so I've been watching a lot of Netflix lately, especially last week. If you guys saw the last vlog that I put up, I didn't say much. It's not that I didn't have... It, there's things that I could have talked about through the week or whatnot, but I didn't want to get um, caught up and start oversharing, right? So that's why I did that video in that format where I just had just music playing low and just giving you guys a glimpse of what I was doing last week during fall break because I was literally here for the most part by myself. So just like I'm doing today, I just found little things, um, to do to occupy my time because one thing i'm not gonna do is just every day just lay around and do nothing like girl that is so boring i cannot so i just find little things to do that those little things you know those little things that you want to do and you put off you keep telling yourself you're gonna do it but then you, you for some reason you get distracted or you forget about it or you tell yourself you're gonna do it later when you you know all that so that's basically what's happening today i'm just going with the flow to be honest with y'all so far i have straightened up olivia's room i've cleaned both bathrooms um i have went ahead and connected the internet box to the computer directly because y'all know my computer doesn't have the wi-fi capability so last week um in the video i told you well i didn't tell you but i um put a uh, insert in there where i was saying that the my cable company broke up with me before i could break up with them and i was like kind of laughing at it because if you know you know i just was just talking about not continuing services with them anyways so it all worked out i wasn't feeling the way about it i wasn't going to continue service of course we we're going to take care of the bill of course and not just leave it but comcast or xfinity is expensive y'all we had the bundle pack we had the phone the cable and the internet i think i shared this with you guys a bunch of times when i talked about arise and that bundle not in i mean i'm not gonna say not including but including the rental of the boxes the level of internet speed that we have um having red zone um for football season um having the the rental of the internet box itself outside of the the one uh oh two cable boxes that we have then with the taxes the surcharge all that stuff added up to about three hundred dollars a month that is a lot of money um and over the year i've just really been paying attention to how often we utilize this service like for the tv honestly no one really watches tv like that and then if we are watching tv it's mainly reruns or it's like one or two channels and it's just stuck on that channel for most of the day if i'm here by myself for background noise stuff like that like all those channels that are being unwatched you know what i'm saying um the hun he just does sports um so he cool with just the espn and any channel that shows some type of sport on it he good right all them other channels well outside of that he'll watch like reruns like i said you know bet martin all that stuff you know reruns but really no one's here you know, when I was delivering and all that stuff, I wasn't here that much. When I was working from home, 
wasn't really watching TV like that. It was on, like I said, for just to feel like something was on. Of course, it was on mute if I was working, but if I wasn't, it would be on low or whatever, just so it wouldn't be too quiet, you know? So, and that was the bigger chunk of the bill is the cable, right? The um, bigger chunk of the bill was the cable. So, I feel like, um, you know, with all these streaming apps and stuff like that, where you only need the internet, it's like, bruh, my daughter, she doesn't even watch TV. Um, the last time I went out to dinner with my parents, we were actually talking about that. Like a lot of kids watched, well, nowadays probably, you know, game and internet and stuff like that. But there was a time where, you know, kids watched cartoons and, and either they was outside playing or they was in the house watching cartoons or we was outside playing or in the house watching cartoons, stuff like that. Like Nickelodeon was a thing, you know, but now child, Olivia, I, the girl, I can't even remember the last time she just sat and watched TV other than watching, um, what's that show or that movie that she liked, um, the Descendants. Now she was all for that when that hit, um, you know, the scene on TV or whatnot. But as far as just every day sitting down watching like Disney Channel and all that, she wasn't that type of kid. Cause you know, by that by the time she was born, she was born in two thousand nine. So by that time, the internet and all that stuff was out, computers and all that. But she had toys, educational toys, you know. But y'all get what I'm saying. But the point is, the cable is the bigger part of the bill. So, since we're not really watching cable that much, why pay that much, okay? And I, if I want to say, I feel like we had the basic, comp, the basic um, channel package because we didn't have any like movie channels or anything like that. Like I said, we just had the red zone. So, girl, yeah, um, it's not that big of a deal to me. Like I said uh streaming apps everybody on their phone anyway and so when the um cable was off last week i mean it's still off because i don't plan on getting a cut back on or anything like that but um it really was just like another day like it didn't really, <laughs> it was just like oh okay um as far as the internet i was just using my mobile spot so that everybody could connect to the Wi-Fi. But what we decided to do was T-Mobile has this $50 a month internet situation going on. So we decided to go with that. So I have the box plugged in directly to my computer. And then everybody else can use the box to get on the Wi-Fi. That way I'm not using my hotspot. So that is that. So I did that. And um, did a lot of dusting off stuff and girl i didn't realize how dusty things were like little dust cobwebs in the corners and stuff i've been do getting those down with the broom um and separating clothes for laundry day because laundry day is coming up in a couple days so there's quilts and stuff and it was just one big old pile so I separated that so all in all my day has been productive thus far okay um i have not worked out today y'all i did those arm crunches with that weight and i can't remember how much it is how much it weighs but with that weight in that next day and a couple days after that y'all my arm was hurting so bad more so my right side than my left side but they both felt like you know the start of a cramp when you're about, when you feel one coming on in a sense, you know, in a sense, like you feel it coming on. So that's kind of how my arm was feeling. It wasn't like that soreness where you feel it because you haven't been working out in a while. Not that type of soreness. Like it was just really <laughs> uncomfortable. Like it was to a point where I was scared to keep my arm folded, like especially at night when I sleep because I sleep like this. So I had to like, there was points where even when I caught myself doing it, I would feel that sensation like it's about to start cramping up right up here on my, um, just right up here, right on my top arm. So I would have to just keep it straight. Girl, absolutely insane. It's better now though, but 
it took a couple of days for that to go away, girl. And it was weird. Um, feeling like that. So I haven't done the weights since then. Um, I think I'm gonna switch it up. I don't even know why. Well, I was bored that day, honestly, y'all. And I was kept looking at them wet that way. And I'm like, why not? Let me go ahead and do some. And I did two sets of 20 left arm, right arm, and then both arms doing like that. Right. Girl. Hmm. And I'm not even like concerned about my arms, honestly. I need to work on my midsection. My midsection is the hardest part of my body where I, for some reason, it's hard for me to lose weight in my midsection, girl. Especially more so nowadays, I guess because I'm older. Back in the day, I used to do like sit-ups and stuff all the time and, you know, had that belly. But girl, that was so many years ago, okay? I was girl i'm gonna say so many years ago so many years ago so instead of starting with my arms i'm gonna look for a a um video an exercise video that i can get with i've been scrolling through some on youtube i haven't come across one yet that just made me want to just get up and start doing it um so i've been looking for a video if you guys have recommendations for exercise videos that i can watch here on youtube or a free streaming app <laughs> okay um let me know down in the comments i've been organizing my closet a little bit because everything was kind of just pushed in there as you can see it's still stuff pushed in there down in there to the side but just kind of changing stuff around switching out baskets and stuff and i need to put those sheets into something these are all of the top sheets these are the bottom sheets they need to go into one of those containers which i have over here i had an empty one in my in my bedroom closet and i said you know what let me pull out that orange container and put the sheets and stuff in this container and put it in there first of all let me make sure it's gonna fit you because Hold on a second. It should. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's shorter than that one. But that's okay, though. I'm cool with that because I've been looking for something to do with this empty one. Anyways, there's Christmas bears in the orange one. So Christmas is coming up. Last year, I don't think I pulled out the bears. I can't remember. Um, I may go ahead and pull them out this year. But I think I'm going to put them in trash bags and put them in Olivia's closet which will end up freeing up this, um, <laughs> freeing this bin up. So, I've got blankets that I can put in there. So, these small blankets, I can put them in there. And that will eliminate one of these plastic bags. Uh, or it may eliminate both of them. Let's see, we just have to see. Oh, and then the shower, the rugs for the bathrooms, I put them in here. They were on the shelves by themselves. They weren't in a bin or anything. So they're all in here. Now, these shower curtains is what was originally in here, but there's only, I only have like four, five shower curtains all together. So why not switch it out? I'm using some multi-purpose cleaner to clean this out. And then I'm going to put my sheets in there.
now we're back to the bin that we originally had <laughs> the shower curtains in so i just went ahead and put them back in there and put these um shower curtain rods in there with them or rings rather so that's going to be the last thing that goes into the closet and i'm just going to put it right here on this row which is on the same row with the bathroom rugs so that's bathroom and then I've got wash racks right here which you know what I think I'm gonna leave right there kitchen stuff kitchen rugs um, pillowcases blankets uh, thinner blankets a lot of those and then one like uh, quilt or whatever towel still got to do laundry so there's gonna be more towel so I left that space open and then whatever can go there put the orange container up there and the clear one down there and then there leaves space so with the bears I decided not to put those in trash bags I realized you know what I can use these that'll keep them protected instead of the trash bags so which is why they were in the bins because those are in good conditions those bears are years old they have a year on the bottom on the foot so like this one is 2005, 2005, and that's a, a, a pair, him and her, mom and pop, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then these also have, oh, can't see them, but these also have years on them too. So have those, been having those forever. And that's how I keep them protected so that they don't get dusty or anything like that. So I had them in the bins. So I think that's a good way to keep them protected. I'm going to put them in Olivia's closet. She's got an empty space on her shelf that I can use. So I'm going to do that. So I am done with the closet. Done with the bathroom. I decided to use this shower curtain for this bathroom. This is the one that I bought for my bathroom. But decided to use it in here. And y'all see the, the chipping. So I've bleached this tub. But... You can still see a little bit of the chipping probably. I don't know if you guys are able to see it, but. 